na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes, may CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com What's up, Internet? The white case here is the Deepcool CH510 and the black case is the Deepcool CH510 Mesh Digital. From the get-go, you can see two main differences. One, the front of the CH510 is solid, whereas that of the digital is all holy, or it's a mesh-type front panel. And that's great, especially for high-end builds which need a lot more cool air coming in from the inside to cool off the hotter components inside. And that's a big improvement over the CH510 which only had these side panels for air intake. Both though feature top mesh filters and there are also filters here at the bottom near the PSUs. The second big difference is of course the digital display of the CH510 mesh digital. But before we get to that display, you should note that this entire front panel is removable for easier maintenance. But because the screen is attached via a wire to your motherboard, you do want to remember to remove the header first to unplug the screen before you yank it out. The screen does bring a lot of improvements, but at the same time, it does make things a little bit more complicated when you're doing routine maintenance. But what does that screen give you? Right now, it's only a very basic implementation of the technology. It can display CPU temps, GPU temps, and toggle between Celsius or Fahrenheit. All of this is via software which you download onto your computer. It sounds basic, but actually it's quite useful, especially for a lot of us who are obsessed with our temperatures. If there's one thing that interacting with PC guys for the past four or five years here at Hardware Sugar has taught me is that a lot of people are obsessed on how hot or cold your computer is. And with this built-in display, it's super easy to see at a glance kung mainit ba yung computer mo. Admittedly, the screen is quite basic. It reminds me a little bit of a digital home clock. When you get up close, there is a bit of backlight bleed from the LEDs used, so it's not completely black. And with just the numbers displaying, the trajectory of this technology probably will be like what we've seen in AIOs. Back in the day, AIOs didn't have any screens on their CPU blocks, and then we started to see basic rudimentary screens. And then now we have the very advanced screens from the likes of NZXT with their Kraken Z series, or MSI with their Magcore Liquid S360, where you can even have very detailed moving GIFs on the CPU block screen. And that's probably how this technology will move forward. We're starting with the very basics. And as technology gets better and better, we'll be able to get fancier and fancier screens capable of doing more things. But even in the infancy of this technology, very rare to see this kind of display in a mainstream case. The use case is already useful. You're getting information that you probably do want to see displayed immediately, or it's very easy to find at a glance. Aesthetically, it does make the front very distinctive. Other things you might want to know about the CH510 Mesh Digital is that it's a very roomy case. You can install a 360mm rad here on top or here in front. It has a maximum space for 5 140mm fans or 9 120mm fans. For the CPU cooler, it can take a maximum height of 175 millimeters. To put that into perspective, one of the largest CPU air coolers, the Dark Rock Pro 4, is only 163 millimeters. So you can be assured that basically it can accept any CPU cooler, it's compatible, it will fit. And that goes as well for GPUs. The GPU clearance for the CH510 Mesh Digital is 380 millimeters long. To put that into perspective, the MSI 4090 is around 338 millimeters or so. So there's a lot of allowance in here. 
Currently, we have a ASUS 4070 Ti installed and you can see that it fits quite well. Not snug at all, there's still a lot of clearance in the case. Other improvements that the digital has, which the original 510 doesn't, is that it now has a USB Type-C on the front panel. Minor thing, but we do have some customers who ask about that, and it just adds to the overall convenience of the user. Two features which are super useful, which both cases still share, is that the side panel is very easily removable. Number one, it's affixed by magnets, so all you need to do is pull it towards you and slide it out. A lot of cases make it an IQ test on how to properly remove the side panel. So I've always appreciated Deepcool's approach where it's super easy to take off your side panel. And number two useful feature, both of them have a GPU support bracket which is towards the front of the case. And you can adjust the height up or down depending on how large your GPU is. It is a sturdy little wing, or it projects a little ledge out to catch the GPU. So it's a small thing, but appreciated, especially in this day and age of ever larger and larger cards. The interior frame of both cases are basically the same. So the part where you screw in the motherboard looks basically identical between the two cases, and then you have the two very large grommet areas to do cable management with. One thing though, which the CH510 has, which the CH510 Mesh Digital doesn't have, is this very <laughs> useful feature where it's a, a hook with springs. So you just need to press down and it pops out and it serves as a nice ledge or hook for any headsets that you have. Interesting feature, again, not common in cases which the CH510 had, which was eliminated in the digital mesh version. Overall though, a lot of interesting improvements with the digital mesh version. Approaching the point where it is a well-priced case, but it's distinctive looking enough and performance-wise, it allows so much more air in that you could honestly do a high-end build in this and not get worried. And be assured that your parts are getting enough airflow for their cooling needs. So for its price point and its features, very hard to really find anything negative to say about the CH510 Digital Mesh. Interesting introduction to mainstream desktops. I hope to see more like this in the future with maybe even more advanced features. So the line added something by adding a screen and it caught up to the latest meta in case design by adding a lot more airflow via its front mesh panel. Thanks for watching. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually meron kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.